One morning in 1995, a man was boldly robbing two Pittsburgh banks without a mask or any disguise. What surprised most at the time was that he was caught looking into the bank security cameras and smiling snugly before walking out of each bank. Of course, he was quickly arrested later that night, though it was to his surprise. As he was handcuffed, police officers heard him mumbling, but I wore the juice. Apparently, the robber had smeared lemon juice on his face, which should have rendered him invisible to the security cameras. The logical reasoning behind this was because lemon juice has the chemical properties used to make invisible ink. Though this obviously sounds like a joke to you and me, what's interesting was that even after police officers showed him the clear footage of his robbery, he was still genuinely surprised that it didn't work and even suspected the recordings to be fake. This amusing robbery case piqued the interest of social psychologist David Dunning and Justin Kruger. What they wanted to know specifically was why was this man so confident to believe that he would be able to distract the security cameras using just lemon juice? The duo took the experiment into the lab and examined a group of undergraduate students. They tested the students in several categories, including English grammar, logical reasoning, and their sense of humor. And after the tests, students were asked to self-assess their overall scores and how well do they think they performed compared to other students. The results of the study was fascinating. Dunning and Kruger found that the students who scored lowest in the tasks all overestimated how well they did, and not just by a little. These students all estimated that they would score well above average. So it seems like not only are these students less competent in the subjects, but they also don't seem to know just how bad they were at them. Just the opposite. Students who scored the highest, though, had a more accurate idea of their scores, tend to underestimate their performance with most not recognizing that they would score at the top percentile. They were aware that they were better than the average, but because it was easy for them, they also made the assumption that it would be easy for everyone else. Today, this is known as the Dunning-Kruger effect, which essentially means that incompetent people might not necessarily have the ability to recognize their own lack of knowledge, and this in turn leads them to overestimate their own capabilities. You can see the scenario represented here in the graph that starts with massive confidence, despite barely having any skills or knowledge, then progressing to fall as you gain more knowledge about the topic. Your confidence then only starts to rise again when you reach above average knowledge in the topic. Of course, this phenomenon is not just limited to cognitive tasks. Dunning and Kruger explained that you'll find the same scenario no matter the skill or activity. The less a person knows about it, the more likely this poor self-awareness will lead them to overestimate their own capabilities. An example where you can often see the Dunning-Kruger effect is in talent show auditions like American Idol. This show is filled with both good and bad singers. And if you've watched the show before, you'll always find bad singers who thought they were good and failed to realize how bad they really are. That's why they were surprised and disappointed when they're actually rejected. And truth is, you and I, we're not very good at evaluating ourselves accurately. As a matter of fact, majority of the people tend to believe that they perform better than average. Statistics show that 88% of Americans believe they're better drivers than the majority, and even elderly people are convinced that they're among the best drivers. Another interesting statistic is that 94% of professors think they're better when compared to their colleagues. And if there's anything to show, this proves that we always judge ourselves as better than others. To a degree, that violates the mathematical equilibrium. If you've learned something new in this video, please go ahead to like the video and subscribe to the channel to please YouTube's algorithm so more people can watch this video. It'll also encourage me to put in more hard work to produce more videos. Now meet Tom, an amateur marketer. This box here would represent how much he knows about marketing. And this is how big he thinks the field is and how much there is to know about it. That's the reason why he thinks he's at the top percentile of all marketers. But let's say he meets Mike, an actual professional marketer who's been doing it for 10 years, but still has a lot to learn. Mike knows a lot about marketing already, but he also knows that there's much more in the field, which he's yet to learn or master. And it is precisely this gap in understanding the depth of the subject that lets Mike have a better grasp on his ability and knowledge, while Tom seems to show such baseless confidence. Tom simply has no idea how extensive the field truly is. And because he doesn't know what he doesn't know, 
he thinks he knows almost everything there is to know about marketing. Though it's obvious that's certainly not the case. On the other hand, while experts are well aware of how knowledgeable they are, they often make a mistake of assuming that everyone else is just as knowledgeable. Mostly this might be because others are also exerting confidence, especially in this case, if Mike were to meet Tom. Because Mike thinks he only knows 70% about marketing, he might underestimate himself when compared to Tom, who thinks he knows 90% of the field. And at the end of the day, we're all capable of falling into the Dunning-Kruger effect. But if you're wondering how you can avoid this, the answer is you should always strive to educate yourself as much as possible. Though it's impossible to learn everything, once you cross a certain threshold, you'll have a better grasp of where you truly stand. Besides, thinking that you've known everything or that you're always right is a clear sign of ignorance, and this can only be cleared up with more knowledge, as you realize how little you know in reality. By the same verse, the more you know about certain topics, the more you'll come to realize how complicated, extensive, and unexplored these topics are, as well as how many things you have yet to understand. It's a beautiful paradox where the more we study something, the less we seem to know about it. Meanwhile, people who dabble on the surface of anything they pursue will never know how much they still have to learn. In the Dunning-Kruger experiment, unskilled students managed to improve their ability to estimate the test results after receiving minimal tutoring on the skills they lacked. It's always helpful to have someone who's ahead of you to show you what you have yet to learn. So next time, if you're feeling confident that you know a lot about something, take a closer look at the topic as you could be a victim of the Dunning-Kruger effect. You might not be totally aware of what you don't know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you won't miss out on our new videos. See you in the next video.